everybody, it's Dr. Sandman. I hope that all of you are doing great. It's time for another mug mutterings video. So I'm 90% certain, certain? I'm 90% certain that I've actually shown this mug before on mug mutterings, but um, just in case it's here. Also, um, I wanted to match my mug today. So that's what the inspo is. Also, I have the most fun sleeves in the world right now. Don't talk to me about it. Today's mug muttering is one that I've been meaning to do for a while, but I keep forgetting about. So um, I thought that I'd do it today. Also, the Boire du Jour is gone. Um, and I cleaned the cup because I, I want it to be nice and spick and spam for the video. Um, the Boire du Jour was um, water. We're staying boring up in here, guys. Uh, today's mug muttering is about uh, my house growing up um, and how it was haunted question mark so i don't know that it was like consistently haunted i but i i had like a couple par paranormal experiences i've had way more paranormal experiences in my life outside of that house most of them were in college um and, I, and i've had plenty since but um these were my first paranormal experiences or first ones that i recognized as being paranormal this is when uh there was a ghost in my house briefly um <laughs> I don't know if a house could be momentarily haunted, um, I don't know. I don't know how old I was. I think, like, if I had to guess, I would say that I was about 13, um, and there was a witness for this, so, uh, I, it wasn't just me, it was me and my friend Clara, she was spending the night at my house, and, um, to this day, we don't really know what happened. I think it might have been a ghost, but I'm also like just racking my memory, trying to like figure out if there's like some like uh, tangible explanation because I'm the type of person where like, I, I want to go through every physical, tangible possibility before I resort to, it was a ghost, but um, but I can't find anything that, that explains it and, and that makes sense, you know? So basically, uh, we were having a sleepover at my house and uh, we were in my room and it was well into the night. It had to be like past midnight or 1am or some around that time. I, I don't remember the exact time, but uh, so we were staying up late, um, which we weren't supposed to do. My mom would always yell at us. She would always like come in my room and be like, can you guys keep it down? Because we would stay up the whole night like laughing and telling jokes and just like being awake when we weren't supposed to be. So we would just be having a grand old time, um, <laughs> staying up way later than we should have. And so this night was no different. We were in my bed and we were just laughing our, our asses off. At, I don't know what, just joking around. And so to give you an idea of like the layout of my house, my bedroom was all the way on the end. And then we had a bathroom that was right next to my uh, my bedroom and the walls in my house were paper thin, so you could hear anything happening throughout the entire house. Um, and also because our house isn't built very well, so um, between like the the ceiling and the wall, there was just a slight crack, this very small sliver where um, you could see if the light was on in the bathroom. You could see like there's tiny, tiny little sliver of light if the light was on that show, showed through. Um, so we're, we're uh, laughing up a storm. <laughs> and, um, and then I hear, we hear footsteps um, coming in. We're like, oh, sh sh sh, because we weren't supposed to be up. So we were, so we were like, oh, let's be quiet. So, so we don't get in trouble. And um, then someone goes into the bathroom and they're wearing boots which was odd because it's the middle of the night so why would somebody like in my house like we don't really wear shoes anywhere in the house it's not like something that we do which and it made less sense that they were wearing boots in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom um because everyone's asleep but us and so why would they put on boots and then go into the you, you know like it doesn't really make sense so we're waiting for them to leave so we can <laughs> go back to um laughing and everything so uh so that was going on and then they just they were there for a while and i could tell by the sound of them that it was a man and uh, my friend clara looked at me and she goes like is that your dad 
because okay so the only other three people who were in the house at the time was my mom my dad and my brother and so I said she said is that your dad I said I don't know so I was listening um and this person is walking around in boots and you know how when when you're growing up you can uh you can recognize who is around the house or in a room that you could hear outside of um based on their footsteps um because you could tell like the the weight of certain people like you could tell by someone's footsteps who it is like who's walking by your house just because you know um and I heard the footsteps and I was like, those don't sound like my dad's footsteps. They don't sound like my brother's footsteps. And this person sounded like a man because we could hear this person panting. And I don't mean like, <gasps> like they just ran a mile, um, hit panting like, <sighs> like really slowly, like, um, just, just, just like they're like tired and like trying to like, you know, like stay awake and just like, <sighs> Like, con like, not panting, I guess, like, constantly sighing, I guess. And, and they, and they're not using the bathroom, because you could also hear when somebody's, like, using the toilet or whatever in, <laughs> in my house, because it's so, like, the walls are so thin. Um, and they're not using the toilet, and they're not using the sink, and they're not going in the shower, and, and they're just walking around in the bathroom, and we're looking at each other like, why aren't they leaving? Or, or like, what are they doing in there? Who is that? And Claire was like, are you sure that's not your dad? Because it sounded like an adult man. Um, and I was like, that's not what my dad's like breathing sounds like. That's not like his voice. Like, even though he wasn't speaking, but like, you know, like, it's just like, you could tell like what's like your family's breathing sounds like. And I was like, it doesn't sound like him. I started paying attention. I was like, I don't think, I don't think that's my family. I don't think that's anybody in my family. Um, and it's just so strange. And so, it, oh, and another detail is this was not an intruder. That was my main concern as this was happening, um, was I thought someone broke into our house, especially because my parents raised me in such a way that like a home invasion was like a very real and ever present looming possibility that was going to happen. Not might happen, was going to happen someday. So I was very afraid that it was an intruder, but like it wasn't an intruder because, um, my, my parents are crazy. So, so all the doors are are locked um, every night, which I don't think that's crazy, but the windows on every room are always locked. None of the, we never unlocked the windows and, and a lot of our windows didn't even open to begin with. So, um, so no one just walked in or climbed in and there was no crash. There was no like breaking down of a window or a door. Um, there, there was no way to physically get into the house um, without us hearing it because you could hear everything that happened in the house no matter where you were in the house so like if somebody broke in we for sure would have heard it so that wasn't what it was and so this person is just still there and they're just walking around and um and then we start hearing shampoo bottles in the shower dropping like falling and we're just like what are they what the fuck are they doing in there and we started getting really freaked out and then um and they were in there for a long time i can't give you a gauge on how long they were there because I, I i don't know it was so long ago i don't know if i checked the clock um and so they were there but they were there for a long time um not doing anything that you would normally go to the bathroom to do um so then eventually the light turns off but we never heard the person leave so we're like what what is happening is that person still in there like what is going on and so we like are just waiting to hear this person leave because we didn't hear them exit but the light went out so it, we we're not <laughs> we're, the breathing stopped the footsteps off but we didn't hear that like the footsteps like leave the room so we're like really confused and we're starting to worry like it's an intruder like there's someone in there they're hiding um and it just didn't make any sense so 
we we're like trying to figure out like what it is and we're like also trying to not like lose our minds and um eventually um i had to pee <laughs> so um i i was just like clara i have to pee <laughs> and then she goes like you can't go there's someone in there and i was just like but i have to <laughs> and so um eventually like i i spent like a long time like trying to like work up the courage to actually go and then i finally did and i like was very hesitant i took everything like really slowly i walked in i turned on a light i looked around i didn't see anybody and the shower curtain was closed and i was just like no and like and that wasn't like a weird sign it wasn't like we always left it open sometimes it was closed so uh i was but i didn't like it because that meant that there could have very well have been someone there and so i was just like fuck and so i i use the restroom and i'm washing my hands and i hear in the shower another shampoo bottle drop and so I ran out of there and I ran back and I, I closed the door and I jumped in the bed and Claire said, what, 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 what happened? Are you okay? And I said, well, I, did you hear that? And she said, Hur hear what? And I said, I heard a bottle drop while I was in there. And uh, she goes, are you serious? I'm like, I'm dead serious. I wouldn't be joking about this. I'm, I'm like, I'm like freaking out because I think that there is a person, not a ghost. I think that there's a person in there and I don't know how they got in and it's not my family. And so I was like freaking out. And so we're both freaking out just like, oh my God, I hope there's not like a killer <laughs> in, in my, in my house. And so, um, we're, we're staying up and we're trying to like calm down and we're trying to listen to see if, uh, the person's leaving or anything. And, um, then we start hallucinating um because um so this i know is not a paranormal thing i know that this is not a ghost thing um or anything like that um but uh, i know that like when you're scared your mind plays tricks on you and it was dark so naturally it's going to be easier to uh be convinced of things that aren't there I, so i know this this aspect of this night was not um something supernatural but it, but it is a scary element so um i remember that uh, I don't know which happened first, but I, I think I think it was the faces. So uh, we started seeing like strange faces. So, um, so we're trying to calm down. I'm freaking out. Um, and uh, Clara's like she's laying down. She's like looking directly up at the ceiling, like panting, like get, being really scared. And I look over at her, and because it's dark and because I'm scared, my mind is playing tricks on me. And I I look at her, and her face looks like a doll like a scary doll like chucky um and i said and i was just and i and i did not understand that this is what what was happening at the time but i um but i was hallucinating um so i thought that it was actually happening because <laughs> i'm 13 and scared and and so i said clara and then she looked at me and she, we're like really close to each other so she just goes what and, and like to see like a scary face turn to you terrifying it so um so she turns she goes what and then i cover my face and i go don't look at me um because i was so scared and then she knew immediately why i was so scared because the same thing happened to her she looked at me and she said to me that it looked like i had no eyes and it looked like my hands were old like like an old person's hands and that i had claws and this is before i started like shaping my nails so <laughs> She said it looked like I had like sharp claws, old, uh, an elderly person's hands and no eyes. And so we just stopped looking at each other because we couldn't take it. And then oh, also I had a poster on my wall and it, it was a Pokemon, uh, my bandaid, uh, Charmander, sorry. <laughs> it, it was a Pokemon um, poster. So it had a bunch of the Pokemon like, uh, like numbered like it, sh it was like a chart of all the pokemon and i looked at it and because it's dark and because it's scared i was scared it didn't look like pokemon it looked like blood splatters <laughs> and um and then I, like there was this mass in my room that was probably like clothes or, or blankets or something but it looked like a man it looked like a person to us and we were like freaking out and i don't know how 
we went to sleep, but eventually we did. And then the next morning, uh, we go into the living room and my mom is making breakfast um, in the kitchen and I said, hey mom, did you go to go to the bathroom at any point last night? And she said, no. And then uh, as everyone wakes up, as my father and my brother uh, wake up, we were like, did any, did either of you like go to the bathroom last night? And they both were like, no. No, they didn't wake up in the middle of the night. Um, and uh, I think they said that what time they went to bed. I think they all went to bed rather early. Um, and they said, yeah, we didn't get up in the middle of the night. No, we never went to the bathroom. And and Claire and I just looked at each other and we're like, what the fuck did we hear? Because we weren't imagining that. We were in the middle of a conversation. We were in the middle of laughing when we both stopped because we heard someone. It wasn't like we had started hallucinating at the, at the beginning because we were in, engaged in conversation. You know what I mean? We don't know what or who that was to this day. And um, I think about it a lot. And every time I remember it, I try to remember some detail that I might have missed that, that would have explained what it was or, or like how that could have happened. Um, it, and I don't understand like how we could both hallucinate the same thing at the same time and respond to as we're both experiencing it. I don't know how that could happen. So like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, and, it, and until I can figure something out that is just like, oh, duh, it was that. Um, I think it's a ghost. <laughs> and it, it also doesn't help my mom years later. This is unrelated. This is a different scenario. My mom years later, um, she said to us um, that every night she heard people talking outside of our house, like outside the window um, where she slept. And and I, rem I remember this because we were all in the living room together and we all looked at her like, what? She goes like, yeah, you know, like, um, it's been a while since it happened, but like every night I, I would hear people like just outside the window talking and we're like, what <laughs> like like what do you first of all why are you just bringing this up now because she didn't tell anybody <laughs> like it was like my mom's a strange person but she didn't um mention it ever to any of us at least of all her husband who was sleeping in the late the same room um and so then we said well what were they saying and then she goes like, I don't know what they were saying, but but it, they were very clearly at least two people talking to each other. And we're like, you and you don't know what they were saying? Uh, she said, no, because it was kind of muffled because they're outside. And we're all like, and, th and this seems normal to you? And she goes, I don't know, I just didn't think anything about it. And we're like, were you asleep? And she goes, no, this is before I go to sleep. And we're like, we, we don't understand. Do you think that it was like a dream where like you started dreaming before you fell asleep and she goes like no I'm wide awake when it happens I'm wide awake when it happens and we're like and you didn't go outside to, or like open the window to tell them to leave or to find out who it was you didn't call the cops like like I I don't believe in calling the cops just saying but at the time we're like there are people standing right next to our house that you don't know who they are just talking every night and you don't tell somebody she goes like yeah and we're like that I believe could have been my mom hallucinating that I, I like 100% like I I would buy if that was the case if it was my mom just hearing things and, and it not actually being there and tangible um but it's it's just a strange element <laughs> like um and and she, it was just odd that she didn't call the cops if she thought it were real people. And we asked, like, do you think it's real people? Or, or like, not that ghosts aren't real, but like, do you think it's like living people that are just standing there? Or do you think that's ghosts? Do you think you're hallucinating? She goes like, no, it sounds like actual people outside. And we're like, and you, and you just didn't tell your family? You didn't tell the cops? Don't call the cops. <laughs> um, and you didn't, you kept, you, you just kept this to yourself and you, she heard it for years, she said every night so I don't know I don't know <laughs> like um I should ask her about that again I also don't want to talk to my mom but like but like I think about that 
not that it was weird that there was somebody is somebody outside her house talking but but weird that she just failed to mention it to anybody debbie is debbie is a strange woman so that's my story of how my house might have been slightly haunted when i was a kid um i but but it also might not have i don't know but uh you know spooky things uh and uh and whatnot so i don't know i thought you would enjoy that story i enjoy telling it because when because i i tell it to people to not to get their reaction but to get their feedback like is there any detail i told you about the story that you're that you grasp onto like oh it was this or it could have been this because i'm still looking for answers because i haven't found any um and if you have an idea of what you thought it was or it could be please comment down below because i'm interested and i would like to know that my house was not haunted <laughs> um not that i'm afraid of ghosts i, I think that they're cool um but i don't know i try to figure it out and i can never figure it out Oh, I think it's interesting. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave all my social media and links in the description below. Um, and you should totally subscribe to see the next video. Um, and if you want me to talk about more of my paranormal experiences on mug mutterings, just let me know. If you want like a more specific idea of like what videos I might be talking about, um, if I do uh, make more paranormal experience videos. Um, when I was in college, I had like these two ghosts, like there was a lot, but like these two consistent ghosts I'd speak to uh, that were an elderly gay couple. Their names were Reese and Harry. Um, and I had this spirit that was in my last apartment and uh, I called him Tanner and he was a problem i have i have tons of experiences so if that's something that you're interested let me know and i'll be happy to do that because i've had a lot of uh, paranormal experiences i think that they're really fun so uh thank you so much for watching and i hope that you have a great day bye